So if you were to go under the view tab of Microsoft video, you can see that there are different modes right here. So let me just create a shape right here, like a rectangle and let me uh, drag a circle as well. And you can see that this is my canvas. But if I were to go into the presentation mode, then everything comes up in full screen mode. Let me just uh, right click on this and it'll end the uh, presentation mode. And you can see that right now my ruler is turned on and this is the ruler that I have. There's the pace break option as well. You can see that this is the pace break uh, grid, just like that. And if I were to turn it off, then everything um, just disappears right here. If I were to enable the grid, you get the grid guideline uh, as you can see here, which can be used to actually snap onto things just like this and align everything perfectly, just like that. And you can also enable the guide right here. So I have the grid, I have the guide. So guide actually allows me to bring this sort of an arrow from the top and uh, from the left side, just like that. And I can see that these are the grid. But as you work along, there might be a lot of guides. And if you want to turn that off, you can simply click off and you can see right here. There's also the task pane right here, like you get the shape data right here. If I were to click on this and so forth, you can work with the shape data and so forth. Uh, which you're going to see in future further lessons, there's pan and zoom, there's size and position right here, and all of the details are actually uh, just right here. So there's also the navigation function and so forth, which are available under the view tab. If you want to access more option, you can actually go over here under show. And over here, you can see that there's the subdivision for the rulers. Um, and vertical normal course and so forth, which you can adjust according to your liking. Even the grid spacing and everything, normal course are fixed, everything you can change from here. There's the zooming options right here. So if you were to click zoom, you can uh, zoom in around the page you want. For example, I can go to 100%, which is the actual size. Go to zoom, uh, go to 50%, that's the 50% of the actual size. Let me just close all this down because I don't want all of these detail. And over here on the bottom right, you can see that I have the zoom function right here as well. Or I can hold control on my keyboard and use the middle mouse scroll button to zoom in and out as well, which is much more dynamic and I like it. Uh, you can also fit the entire window right here. So once you click on fit to window, it actually fits. And if you were to click on page width, it actually fits the width of the page onto this menu right here, just like that. Zoom out and so forth. Also other options, it gives you options for dynamic grid, autocorrect and autoconnect and so forth, uh, for a connection point and so forth, which you're going to see in future lessons. You also can work with macros and add-ons right here. And if you have multiple windows open, for example, let me click on new window right here with basic diagram, let me just create that out, just like that. So let me create, create a circle right here and another diagram as well. So I'm going to create something like a basic network diagram right here and create that out. Right, there you go. So that's the basic network diagram. So now what I can do is I can click on new window. It actually creates a new window right here. Or I can go for range all the data so you can see that um, everything else is arranged it out. Once I click new window, it actually made a copy of the window right here. So let me just close that out. And once I click to arrange all, you can see that all of the objects arranged by itself, just like that. You can go to cascade window and you can see that you have the tab tabular light format and you can select each window just like that and get to the options just like that. You can also switch windows from drawing one, three, four, and so forth, just like that. So that is how you can uh, work with the view option inside of Microsoft Video. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.